everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about self-care and self-involved. <laughs> Which one are we being? Now, a lot of people will, depending on the consciousness you're in, you're going to fall in one or the other. In a human consciousness, we are self-involved. Now, when you get into higher consciousness, consciousness that starts shifting to being really into self-care. But there's a time when you start to see they kind of get blurred a little bit and it can be interesting to try to decode which one we're being. Because they're also two sides of the same coin in a sense. There's a misconception in human consciousness that self-care, you, that you're self-caring when you're really just self-involved. <laughs> And on the flip of that, when we get into higher consciousness and we are into self-care, our human, the hu a human consciousness would look at that as being self-involved. So I'm going to pull that apart a little bit, and we're going to start to look at how can we tell which one we are. And sometimes we try to fool ourselves with doing one, we're really doing the other. As a human consciousness, we are all self-involved. <laughs> And that does not come from a place of judgment. It comes from the place when we are being ruled by our human consciousness, which is what we are when we are human. We are self-involved. We care about ourselves. No matter how we spin it, color it, how we try to create realities that look like we're not self-involved, they all will come back down to us. Well, you can decode any human reality you've either been a part of or one that you were the lead role in, <laughs> and you can break it down to that you were self-involved. <laughs> Everyone I was involved in, I can break it down as to I was self-involved or someone around me was self-involved and even being part of that reality, I was still self-involved in some way. I wanted something out of it. Uh, to me, self-involved means you want, you want the focus on you. You want the attention on you. Even if it is maybe for something not great, even if it, that uh, our human would judge is not, not, not something to be known for. We want to be recognized. We want to be seen because in our human consciousness, in those realities, we're never really seen. You know, we're so we play the roles of being in the external, always trying to get attention. You see it all the time with um, even if you look at you know people taking pictures of themselves. Selfie energy is is a selfish energy. <laughs> We break that down and we've all done it. You know, we've all taken these pictures before where we were taking, it was a big craze a few years ago, but still everyone is still really self-involved. People are taking pictures of actively everything they're doing. But look at the energy behind why, we, why you're doing it. Is it to bring attention to yourself? <laughs> is it to manipulate? Is it to control? Why are we doing it? Why do we feel the need? When we're in our human consciousness, we are very much trying to pull people toward us. We're trying to pull energy from people. We're, tr we're trying to feed off of the external because we have no inner power. We have no inner strength in a sense. You know, our human consciousness is very disempowered. It doesn't hold any strength. It doesn't hold any soul light. It just is in itself a distorted program. It's a corrupt program. So it acts corrupt and that's what it does. Now, when we get into our human consciousness, when we get start moving out of human consciousness, we go into our higher consciousness. We talk a lot about self-care. We talk about pulling away, you, you know, doing stuff for ourselves, being by ourselves, taking care of ourselves first to build up our soul light so we can hold our field. It's hard for us in the beginning to hold our field and we're around a lot of people, so we have to separate ourselves from all those things. And there's that thin line. <laughs> where we can be in this space, and I was in this space, and I witnessed this space with other people, that we can think we're self-caring and we're really still self-involved. We can be accused of being self-involved and we're really self-caring. So I'll give an example. Um, I was partnered with a person long ago, and every time we would have to do something, it seemed like every time we'd have to do something, the person would show up and, or they cancel at the last minute because the energies are too much. You know, I have to self care. I have to take care of myself. I can't come do this thing. I can't be part of this thing. I can't show up for this thing because it's just, I have to take a nap. I have to take care of myself. And it was always throwing that in as sort of a manipulation tactic in, in a sense. I have to do this for myself. I have to do this for me. 
not really seeing how it was now screwing someone else in the reality. Self-care does not mean we screw other people in a reality. And that's what self-involved is. And that's when we start getting to the confusion when we're doing it. I'm sure I've done it too. I can probably look back and cite things where I did the same thing. And some of that's the karmic retribution coming back because now someone was doing it for me. When we start to say, oh, I can't show up for that. Oh, I can't show up for that because I've got to do myself. Now, there's another caveat to that that we're going to... This is a, this is kind of a very multi-layer one. Is a caveat to that to where we're going to look at different things we do and say, well, what do I do then? <laughs> you know what what how do i show up or not show up when do i know what to do in these situations when i feel like i need to take time and but am i screwing somebody else in the process in your human consciousness you don't think about anybody else getting screwed in the process <laughs> okay and when we're in that fourth dimensional phase which a lot of us start really decoding this and i'll still have to look at it from a lot of different angles when i'm doing certain projects posting certain videos is it self-involved is it self-care? You know, which one is it when I'm taking time out? When, when I take my time out, I don't know when I need my time out. But we start to learn not to overcommit. You, you know, your higher self after a while, once you live as a higher self, you start to understand that I don't overcommit to a lot of different things. And when I do feel like it's a line for me to commit to it, I'm going to commit to it. And that means I got to show up. It doesn't matter if I'm tired that day. It doesn't matter if I didn't take time to build up my light before that. Those are things we learn along the way. That if we know we have to show up for something, if we've committed to show up for something, unless our universe takes it out and our universe might say that day, hey, you were supposed to teach a class, but now it's got to be canceled because of, you know, um, bad weather or, or something's going on with the internet and you can't do it. Sometimes our universe will intervene, right? But we can also say that to our universe. You know, it's like if I'm really tired, <laughs> I've done that before, I'm really tired. I don't care if this gets canceled, but I said I was going to show up, so I'm going to show up. But I would not be heartbroken if you this kind of, I got out of this one, you know, and I didn't have to do it. And then usually when I preference it, preference it in that way, my universe will would have it um, just kind of fade out. And I, and I wouldn't have to do it at all. My universe say, okay we're, we're going to give you this one, you know, because you more important for you today is to build up your light. And remember, our universe is always going to preference what's the most important thing for us to do to anchor in more light, to do what needs to be done for us to get our body to a higher vibration. When we are going into self-care, it means we are doing something to increase our vibration for the collective. Or to raise our consciousness for the collective. There's no me, in a sense, involved in that anymore. It's now for what we're doing for the collective, what we're doing for others. But we also understand the vessel we're in, what we have to do to be able to do that. <laughs> you know, like I can't do a live video if I don't have a lot of space to do that. I have to plan a lot of space out to be able to get on, do that, make sure I have a lot of time in case they run longer. I have to really be in a really vast space to be able to do that. And that's why my live videos have not been as, as much this year because I'm sharing the space with someone else and it's not as easy to do that. I have to kind of plan around other people. But I know what I need to be able to do that. You know, when I'm going to be around a lot of people for like have the guests and have people here and I know I'm going to be creating the experience for them and, and being in the, a reality with them, I know for a couple of days prior to that, I'm not going to kill myself doing six live videos or kill myself trying to do five videos or doing a lot of sessions or doing interviews or any of those other things because I have to be in a certain space to be able to then give four or five days of my totally of myself to these other people to create the experience for them. Because that is what I've decided to do on a soul level. That's my contract with them. I have to show up for them. I have to be there for them in that capacity. But we start to learn that. You know, we start to learn. We don't book things back to back to back to back to back to back to where we do become sort of... Because um, when we start to do that, and then when we start getting hit with clearings, and we start getting hit with the energy is really heavy today, I kind of do want to take a nap. And when I want to do these things, I need to have the time to be able to do that. 
So you're going to see a lot of, you see a lot of videos on self-care, <laughs> you know, a lot of videos, people talking about self-care, but it's coming from a human consciousness when it's being talked about a lot of times because self-care is still a very me, me, me thing and not a self-care for the collective thing, which is how it starts to shift. We're not so into, and if you're talking about self-care constantly about how much, and the other one that goes into self-care is also self-love. Right, and you hear people saying how much they love themselves. Anyone who's got to say how much they love themselves, they're clearing that program because they really don't. You know, you don't go on and talk about how much. You don't need the validation for that. You don't need everyone to say, "Hey, that's great." You know, th those are not the things you're doing when you're in and operating from higher consciousness or higher aspect. Now, that's not to say that we all have not done that, because <laughs> we have done that. What we really want to do is start to unravel these things and look at, yeah, I did that. Oh, but I can see now I was really kind of clearing that. I, I, I wasn't really saying how much I love myself. I, I knew at that point I didn't love myself, but I was just saying that. We have to really peel the stuff back and not look at everything at, self, at face value, not look at everything at that human value system, not look at everything from, you know, I just couldn't show up that day, not realizing that that is now impacted three other, four other people because I can't show up that day because I've overcommitted. Now, sometimes our universe is going to get us to overcommit to show us not to do that. But if you keep getting in realities with people that are overcommitting and overcommitting and overcommitting and not showing up, eventually is what happened to me in the example I gave earlier. What happened to me was I had to eventually sever the ties because if you're continually not showing up, I'm the one doing the work and that is not self-care or self-love for myself because I'm taking it all on myself because I don't have someone that's going to show up because they have, uh, they're in a different phase of their process. They're discovering the difference between self-involved and self-love because as a human, we'll, we'll, they'll switch it. You know, we did it. We all switched it too. I switched it to where I think I'm, I'm doing self-care and self-love, but I'm really just kind of self-involved and I really don't care about anyone else around me. Self-care is really caring so much about everyone else around you. You want to make sure you are in the highest vibration you can get yourself to in that moment. You're going to deal with these people. Deal with the situation. That's what self-care is about. It's not about me, 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 me energy. That is not really, that's human love. It's not really self-love. It's not self-caring because you can only love someone as much as you love yourself. You can't promise that you can, you can't overpromise. You can't, I say can't, but we will until we learn. <laughs> Everything we talk about here, we, we do it because we've gone through it. You know, I do it and I talk about it because I've seen it. It's been done to me and I've done it to other people. Where we get so miss, it gets so twisted and, and it gets so involved. Look at the energy behind why you're doing something. Are you doing it for yourself? And even, the, even the, if you're in the sacrificial part of that energy where you're not in the narcissistic part, you're in the sacrificial part where I'm doing everything for everybody else, but you're still doing it because you want to be accepted. You want to be loved. You're still looking for external validation on, yeah, that's great. You know, yeah, it's so great you're doing that. Yeah, it, it's really great. You're, you're showing up for all these people, but yeah, you're so exhausted because you're showing up for everybody else and no one's showing up for you. That's not self-care. That's not self-love. That's still self-involved. It's just a more twisted form of self-involved. And we go through realities where we go to that twisted place, you know, because even in our human consciousness, we're just trying to clear programming. We're still setting up our higher selves are, are still setting up realities for us to clear programming so we can eventually embody in our higher aspects. We're just going through the program. So we're either having people not show up for us. We're either not showing up for other people. We're incredibly self-involved, you know, we're incredibly self-involved in everything that's going on. We want to see everything that's happening 24 seven. You know, we can go back to just in general, if you watch social media, everyone is so concerned about who's watching what, what the algorithm says and blah, 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 blah. It's not about that for human consciousness. Yeah, it's about that for higher consciousness. It's not about that. It doesn't matter. I'll look at videos and see, okay, what's resonating with people? Where are the collect, where, where are more of the collectives at? But if I catch myself doing it to see, okay, who, how many people are watching this? How many people are, are clicking on that? Then I know I have become self-involved.
because that's not what it's about. Shift the energy where you come from. And if you can't shift the energy yet, tell yourself a different story. Start looking at it from a different perspective. Instead of saying, let me do all this stuff for me today, what, what do I need to do for myself so I can show up for other people? And maybe today I can't show up for other people, but I'm also not gonna plan eight things to do today because I know if I've gotta show up for other people on Tuesday, Monday, I've gotta maybe have a complete day by myself. I'm gonna to have to do some my own self-care to be ready for that. I know if you have any big astrological things, and remember, all the planets are inside of us, so some are affecting us more than others, depending on what we're clearing at the time. If we always get knocked down when Mercury's retrograde, because we don't we don't want to speak clearly, you know, like uh, as a human, that's one of our biggest things. We don't want to really voice how we feel about anything. So when we're we're talking about you know being able to really communicate, and we're having issues communicating, when Mercury goes retrograde, our universe goes upside down because it's teaching us how to communicate. Once we know how to communicate openly and honestly, Mercury retrograde will not bother you anymore. I'll promise you that. You won't even know when it is. It won't even matter because you've learned not to do that. You've cleared that programming. You're no longer, you've embodied in the planet, so to speak. And you're not, you're not working through that. You know, you're not working through all of those, all of those issues, trying to get all that done. It's no longer an issue for you. And the same thing goes for self-care. It's not something you got to talk about. It's not something you, I mean, you can talk about it to share information, but it's the energy of which we're coming from to talk about it. It's not bragging about it. It's not, it's not trying to get everyone else to say, oh yeah, you should do that. that that's another trick our human plays. Oh, you know, I can't do, oh, you need to just go, just take care of yourself. A big cliche that we hear all the time in human realities but even the people saying it don't care. <laughs> they don't really care about that. I know when, when I was, and, and the, when I, the example I gave earlier, we we're both very much still in fourth dimensional realities. You know, me, we're pl I'm playing this part with this other, this partner, uh, this doing, creating some stuff. We're still both playing in fourth dimensional realities. One, you know, she's trying to show me to stand up for myself and, and not, and, not overdo a reality because that was always what I would do, you know, overdo a reality, give a hundred percent. Everyone else is giving 10, but I'm giving a hundred. That's not self care. Is it self involved? Yeah. To an extent, because I want to be involved. <laughs> so to be involved in this reality, I'm going to give more than everyone else. It's because I want to show I have value to it. You, you know, it's, it's definitely, a big distortion that as we move through, and, and this will be one that comes back and forth, because when we do get into full self-care, and we know we're into self-care, and we, we feel we know what we're doing, we're planning things out, we can still look to our human consciousness very self-involved, because we do pull away. We do not want to be involved with a lot of things in that moment, but we know why we're doing it. We're not doing it to get attention from others. We're not doing it to be accepted by others. We're not doing it for anything other than what we're doing for the collectives. And you'll start to see as your body shifts, as your consciousness changes, as you embody in more of your soul, you need more alone time, you need more time to just be by yourself, you need to sleep more, and, and that just shift and eventually you don't need to sleep as much as you did before. So that goes back and forth, but that's a different video. You'll see how it starts to shift and how you get on the other side of that. And all of a sudden you just, don't you know you start to see yes but if you tell me i'm i'm self-involved but i know i'm into self-care true self-care because i'm looking at what i need to be doing for the next four or five days for everybody else i know i have an equinox coming up and i might know i'm going to get hit hard during an equinox and usually your universe will clear things out for you you'll start to notice things kind of get cleared out for you but then as our human consciousness is still there it still tries to overplay because it doesn't like to have that lull right it never likes to have that lull. When it has that lull, it questions the lull. You know, I, I don't want to have the lull. I want to keep busy, 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 busy. Human conscious wants to be distracted and busy all the time. It keeps you distracted. It keeps us distracted. So it's going to try to do that. And a lot of times the universe will clear things out. You know, when I'm not supposed to do live videos, I don't have any time to do it. I don't have any space to do it. I can't really spread my, you know, spread my field out as much as I want to because there's other people in the house. I'm sorry. <laughs> The cat was doing something over there that scared me to death. Okay. 
it's my field is clear when I'm supposed to do it. But if I'm not supposed to do it, I can't, I can't get into the energy of it. And then I know, okay, just take a break. <laughs> You'll come back and do that when it's time for you to come back and do that. And some things, more information's got to come through so I can kind of figure out what I'm supposed to do next on, on certain projects I'm doing. So I, I can kind of understand things more. And at that moment, I don't have the full picture. So sometimes your universe will delay things. But our human wants to get involved. It wants to overbook. It wants to keep going, even though your universe might be saying, we're giving you these days to not do these things. Now you can book other things and you're not going to enjoy them and you're going to be trudging through them because they're not aligned, but go, go ahead and do it. I've done that. Trust me, it's not fun. And the more we do that, the more we learn, don't do that. When the universe clears your schedule a little bit, and that's, remember, our universe is just us. It's just for a talking point. We'll separate it out and say, I'll say, you know, my universe, just to kind of get the point across. But it's still just us. It's us saying, you know, we don't need to do that right now. We're clearing that out for you. If you want to busy your shit up, go ahead. But then you got other things you're going to have to hit, markers you're going to have to hit here, and you're going to be really tired. And you're not going to be your highest self. You're not going to be able to bring as much more light to the situation. You're not going to be as bright as you can be. You're not going to be in your highest aspect. It's going to be harder for you to maintain that because you're not, you're going to be depleted of all your soul light because you're doing all this stuff that isn't aligned right now. Which technically that's not self care. Now I'm self involved again because we're doing it for other reasons. There's not a purity to it. There's a very pure energy to self care. It's a sacred energy to self-care. It is not a selfish energy to self-care. When we get into that selfish energy with self-care, we've gone back into being self-involved. So I think I've untwisted it and twisted it back again. And I think that's a good place to stop. So, okay. Keep practicing the art of intuition.